Welcome back to Critterland. Today I have a very special package containing a very special Sylvanian Families or Calico Critters set. This is the amazing Sylvanian Kitchen, which I've wanted forever. And it also came with a whole bunch of other stuff like vintage furniture and a bunch of critters uh, from eBay. So this is from 2005. I believe it was only released in Japan, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's based on an actual restaurant in Japan, and I love these photos on this box. And I noticed these stairs. I have never seen them before. Are they supposed to go with the kitchen? It didn't come with this one, but I, if you have seen those, let me know. And this is everything that is included in the kitchen. And this set is not completely complete, but it's almost there. So I'll show you that in a second. But here are the listing photos. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to gauge the condition of the, like the accessories. But I could tell that the building was in really good condition. All the furniture that went with the kitchen was included. So those were the most important things to me. And let's take a look. Here it is, and I know you've seen it in other videos, so this footage is obviously from before that. But you can tell, you know, it's in good shape, but you see that it's definitely got dirt. And you can see there's no sun damage. I was looking for that. Just some little cosmetic things, but we'll get it all cleaned up here in a minute. So in this bin, we have the sign. You can see it's blank on the back, and I, just a little bit of glue will fix that sticker. But doesn't that look amazing? This is a placemat from the actual Sylvanian kitchen. And we've got a bunch of critters and accessories. So this came with the Furbanks Red Squirrel family. This is the mother, and she's not in great condition, but she is wearing the uniform, the waitress uniform that originally went on a cottontail mother. This is the daughter. She's in kind of rough shape too. I was really hoping they'd be in better shape. The dad is in really good condition. He looks great. And then the brother is also in pretty good condition. Now these, I don't know what they are. <laughs> If you know, let me know. These ones are cute, but they don't have that kind of critter vibe. Uh, you know, they just look more like display pieces. So I'll save them, but they're not going to be incorporated into Critterland. And the Babel Brooks look like they are not going to be salvaged. The dress is pretty ruined too, but we'll see what we can do to get the clothes at least cleaned up. And then here's another one of those odd bears. The bear itself is kind of cute, but the outfit just, I don't know. And then here's the chef. This is a cottontail rabbit and his uniform looks in good condition and so does he. So that's a great, great thing. And then there's a whole bunch of vintage furniture. So to, like at the second part of the video, I'll lay all that out so you can see it. Here's the oven that goes in the kitchen. It's got two ovens that open and there's a little pot. And then there's this bag of accessories and I'll show you everything that's in there. But it came with all these little catalogs, which is very fun. I love looking at these old catalogs. I have a lot of these actually now. There's a lot I still don't have, but I would love to collect all these vintage pieces. They're super cool. And then we have these really cool little baby like fairyland sets. But my goodness, it's so fun looking at these old catalogs. These are the little like fairy houses. These are the carry cases that like the sewing machine came in and all the baby park stuff, which I have none of this either. Let me know if you have any of those sets or if you'd like to have any. And I am slowly collecting a lot of the items on this sheet too, which is cool. I would love to have that washing table. So yeah, it's really cool to flip through these and I'm so glad they were included. And then it came with this like storybook which opens left to right, or wait, yeah, right to left, and it's got the Japanese print going down. And then we have these little teeny tiny little boxes of little baby park toys. So I love that. That's going to go in my mini critter land. All right, so I'm going to get all this stuff out of the bin, and I'll show it to you, but first we got to take care of these critters. So I took the clothes off all the critters that are 
in decent enough shape to keep, or at least to keep in Critterland. And here they are. So these red squirrels are in worse condition. They have that really shiny flocking that I think happens from the oils in people's hands. And the cottontail is also in great shape. So we'll wash them. Now these babble brooks, I really don't think even a good washing is going to help. They're just a little too far gone. So I took everybody's clothes off. Uh, this is the waitress's dress, which is super cute and in good shape. And then the chef's uniform. So those were the two I care most about and they're in great shape. But I'm gonna wash all the clothes and all these figures. And I think that'll make a big difference. So I'm gonna use really gentle dog soap. That's worked well for me in the past. So this is right after they were washed. So the wetness makes them look a little dark. And the clothes came out beautifully. I am so happy with how clean these got. They're just vibrant, they came back to life, maybe except that blue shirt, but the overalls are great. But here they are all cleaned up. So I switched the dad and the mom because I wanted the better conditioned critter to be the waitress. So they have switched. And here is the chef cottontail rabbit and the new dad. And they are looking really dapper. He still has that sheen, but he's all right. He'll do. And we've got the sister who is in pretty good shape. So I switched the brother and the sister too. And now the brother has that shiny part. And we have this little rabbit. I think it's a dapple don. And we have this little squirrel. So I'll admit I was hoping for better when I bought this set, but it was priced really well and I can't complain. I think these critters came out pretty good and I'm very happy to have a Sylvanian kitchen and these uniforms. So I'll definitely keep the cottontail rabbit in his and I'll decide on the waitress. But there's all the furniture and here are all the accessories it came with. So it is missing a few pieces. Those cans are in bad shape there with the labels. The wine bottles or apple juice or whatever are missing, I think, one label. But yeah, for the most part, it's got almost everything. So here is the kitchen before it is cleaned and you can see it is pretty dirty. It's got good bones, it's got good coloration, nothing is broken, but it does need uh, these stickers to be glued back on and a good thorough scrubbing. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Now, I don't know if baby wipes are the best thing to use, but I do know they're gentle and we have a bunch of them. Long after the kids needed them, we kept buying them because they're so useful. But this is cleaning up really well. And there it is, all shiny or shinier. There are some scratches when you see the reflection on the window, but it's a whole lot better. And the awning looks better. Look at the side, it's so bright. And the inside is so clean now. It's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better. I'm just very, very happy. And I'll be wiping down a lot of the furniture too, or all of it. And here it is all set up. So I'll give you a tour and then I'll do a little scene with the critters and after that we'll look at all that vintage furniture.
the kitchen all set up. Here it is in the scene. Now it doesn't have all the accessories inside, but this is where I've placed it in our new setup on the tables. And I think it looks really nice there on the corner so you can see that big wraparound window. So now we're gonna take a look at the vintage furniture that came with the order. So I obviously didn't place this order because of this furniture, but I was excited that it came with it. This is the vintage ceramic tub that needs washed. This is an older playpen that has felt, it's quite dirty inside, and a little abacus. This is the duck stroller that, oh my gosh, I wish it wasn't so damaged because I've always wanted that. And this is the child's desk. This is not super vintage, but it's definitely an older set. And it comes with a little chair. This is a desk we do not have, so that's nice. I think we might have a white version of it, maybe. And then we do have this piece. This is a child's dresser. It's got a sticker thing here that's really messed up, but otherwise it's in pretty good shape. And then this vintage uh, little um, vanity. I couldn't think of the word. We don't have this one. We do have a different one. This one has a little bench that opens and it's uh, pretty roughed up there on the top. But overall, the furniture itself, this piece is in good shape. These things just hold up really well. They're really hard to ruin, except the cloth bits, you know, they do get stained and stuff, as you can see with this chair. Two of these came with this, and they're both pretty dirty. This is the one we got in that other, that vintage house order, and it's so much brighter in comparison. Even the green color is just much brighter. And then this kitchen. So this piece we don't have. It's a really cool little extension for the kitchen in green, but we do have this kitchen that came with the other house that I got. And uh, this kitchen is not in as good of shape. This oven, the door is broken, so it just stays open and you can't close it. So I'll need to put like some sticky tack on it. And then this sink, the faucet, it just kind of twirls around there. And it's got a little stain on the top, but I love this sink. It's got that beautiful gold piping in there. So it's nice to have another one and I'll think about what to do with it. And then we have this table, which is also new to me. I don't have another one, but this chair is burned and melted <laughs> in a couple places. So I wonder what happened there, but the other one's in good shape and so is the table. And all of this will need to get washed and scrubbed, and maybe I can fix that little egg carriage, the sun damage there. I've heard that you can use like UV lights to do that. But anyway, here are the accessories. These are the accessories that came with the order, but th that weren't for the kitchen itself. So it came with these amazing ice creams. Look at that. These little martini dishes. I think this came originally with the old department store. So let me know if you know where these came from. Um, or maybe the like the restaurant that went on top of the department store. I'd be really curious to know uh, if that's correct or where they came from. But they're amazing. Look at that. And we also got some glassware. These are duplicates for me. I have most of those. And then another frying pan, rolling pin, and a breadboard. I have those already. And then this is part of the dinner set that's very popular. And uh, it's not complete, but it's nice to have some extras. And these little tiny little coffee cups or teacups. And then this coffee pot. Here's a knife. Uh, and a little salt and pepper shaker, but this coffee pot, oh my gosh, I really love it. I think it came with the uh, buffet or the brunch set. If you know, let me know, but I think I saw it there. And if you compare it to the black one that most of us have, you'll see that it's different. It looks a little more realistic, so that's super cool. These are the rest of the accessories. So we have this mobile that goes on the playpen. It is a little bit broken there and like bent. But we have some bath products, some pencils and a pencil drawer, and a couple bookends. 
That one is a bear. And here are the books. We have wrapping, a gift wrapping book, history, and a dollhouse collection book. This bookend is a bunny. So that is really cute. I think we might have both those bookends. So a lot of this stuff is duplicate for me, but that's okay. And the pencil case, which is super, super cute. We have one, so now we have two. And that's great for like school setups. And this bag, this came out really nicely when I washed it. It had a little dirt on it before. And then this little makeup bag and some other cloth items. This alarm clock is not Sylvanian. And these are the paper products. This says timetable, but it's a calendar. A lot of this stuff I think came with that children's desk set over here. And the dresser came with it too. This actually goes in the desk, but it's a little scuffed up, so we might not use it. And I think these actually go in the Sylvania kitchen. That's everything, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.